now let's see how we can add and generate the services so first we will go to our integrated terminal so we can run i will be creating a user service so i will create it in inside the users folder so i will do ng generate then s for service and then it will be inside the users folder and here we can let's create a services folder and here in the services folder i will say users so this will be the name of the service and i think that will be it so let's press enter so it will create all right actually we could have passed dash dash no spec so i won't be doing testing here so let's see it has created two new files spec and that service file so we will be using that shortly so actually let's close all these files here all right so i will open this modules file and then this service file now let's inject our service in the users module so i will go here and then here in the providers array i will say user service all right uh, make sure to import it here now let's create a users list component so i will say ng g for generate c for component and we will create it inside users slash components then after that we can say users list so i don't want to create spec file so no spec and i need inline style and i i want to create a separate html file so i think that will be it actually let's do dry run first so you can see we are creating users list file html and ts and it will update the users module uh, that seems okay so let's remove this dry run and press enter uh, now you can see here uh, it has updated this uh, declarations array in the users module and uh, we have that components users list all right so now what we can do is let's try to uh, update our users component ts inside instead of users works so we can say maybe let's see h1 users list and here we can pass this component maybe app i think it should be users list so let's copy this selector yes it is so we can say users list then app users then list so now if i save it and i go back to the browser you can see this is about and all right here in the users you can see users list uh, actually let's wrap our router module inside of bootstrap container so we will go to app.component.html and here we can say contain sorry it should be container and now if i save it all right this looks much better so now let's go to our user service so what actually i need want to do is i want to uh, get the users from the rest api the api that we will be using i think is i think type p code somehow type p code maybe yeah this one json placeholder dot type p code dot com so uh, let's just copy that so let's create uh, get users method here uh, first actually we need to add or import http client module so we will go to our app.module.ts and here in the imports we can say http client module all right it should be module so we have to import it from import from 
angular slash common slash http then we can add http client module here so uh, now what we can do is uh, we can go back to our user service here and inject http client here all right so make sure to add this import statement here so now what we can do is we will do return then http dot get then we can paste our a url all right so now we can inject this service in our component like maybe we can go here then we can say private then user service maybe user service then users service all right so in our ng on init method we can say this or user service dot get users now this will return uh, observable so we can subscribe to it so we will say subscribe and then we will pass data here and then we can say output it to the console so now if i save it and go back to the browser and here in the user if i go to console all right so we can see the list of 10 users here all right so let's say if we want to print name phone number and website so what we can do is uh, we can go here and uh, for now i will say any and now what we can do is actually we can add interface here but for now uh, let's ignore it so we can do this dot users equal to data and now let's pass these users to our users list component so we will say users equal to then users and now we can go to our users list component and let's add uh, input here so here we can say users and now we can go to users list component and here we can add a bootstrap class for card so i will use my extension here and let's try this card here so i will remove this image and here we can say ng4 user of users and then here we can use maybe user dot name and here we can pass uh, user dot phone and then we can use user dot website all right now if i save it and go back to the browser uh, we can see list of users probably so if i click on users all right so you can see the list of users here